Ahoy, PCFers. Uh, today we have a fun little workout. It's 10 sprints, right? It's meant to be uh, 10 short workouts with one minute rest in between. There's five heavy thrusters. We have 10 pull-ups. Finish off with a 100 meter sprint. And then you rest a minute. You do that 10 times. We're gonna record our fastest and slowest time. This is our workout for uh, Thursday the 27th. So, starting with the thruster, and this is gonna be a heavy thruster for you, five repetitions. We wanna make sure to get that bar up in the rack position, okay? See my hands are open a little bit, and that weight is resting on my shoulders, okay? When we squat to start the movement, make sure the weight to your heels drive up really hard. As you finish, that weight's gonna jump off your shoulders and just finish with a press out of the top. Okay, so when I do it in full speed, watch this bar. Watch how I extend my hips fully. The bar will float up and then I finish with my arms. Okay, so down, up, good. Down, up, just like that. Okay, and learn to bring that bar back down to the top in a rack position. All right, it's not very efficient if you keep your hands out here while you squat and try to press, okay? Common falls are that people will start to press early and they lose that power out of the hips and they'll just stand and just press out of the top, okay? Also, I wanna see good extension of the arm. The, the standard for this is actually you would be able to see your ear in front of the arm here, okay? You don't wanna finish here, this is no good. I see how people do this and come right back down, okay? Drive up, I want to see that ear in the front, okay? So that's the thruster, just some basics there. And the pull-up. We go over pull-ups all the time. Whatever variation you're doing, if you're on a band, um, you're looking for an efficient way to do multiple reps quickly. More power output, more work done in a shorter period of time. So we want to see that. I always demonstrate a pretty big kick when I'm teaching people how to kick. It's this big swing forward, back, push away, forward, back, push away, right? As you get better, you don't need that giant swing every time, but you can tighten it up. But I want to see you linking that and figuring the timing out. If you're muscling yourself through using the rubber band, you're not building good patterns. You want to learn how to use momentum and use your hips to your advantage, okay? So you can start off with a big swing, like this, and then you can go to something more like this, that's a little bit tighter, but you're still working on that efficiency, okay? So learn to use the hips, learn to have an efficient swing, um, that's it other than the 100 meter dash at the end. Remember that pose technique we focused on? Same thing guys, pull that foot up really high, ask yourself when you're running, is your foot up in this figure four position, okay? When we're sprinting, that means we're going to be pulling that foot higher. Pull, pull, pull as fast as you can. Okay? So remember that. A couple basics. Fun little workout. See you tomorrow or today.